Now we are going to take up the power. As we all know that every appellant has a certain power also. So now it's time to do the power of appellant that what does it mean actually. So power is rate of doing work. Power is rate of doing work. So if we, uh, if we write a formula for it, so it is power is the rate means divided by time of doing work. So it becomes power is equal to work upon time. Putting the uh, like if we uh, talk about the SI units of the power, so it is what? It is what? And this is how you den uh, denote by writing the W. 1 watt is equal to work is measured in joule. So 1 watt, watt is equal to 1 joule over 1 second. So, if somebody asks you that uh, what does joule per second means, so it, it states that joule per second is equal to 1 watt. But if you, if you have been asked that what physical quantity is signified by joule per second, then physical quantity uh, if, if, if it is written that what does it signify, then it, you are going to write that it is 1 watt. But if there is a question that what physical quantity it is signifying, so then you need to answer that it is a power. Now how we define watt, so we say that power is said to be 1 watt power is said to be 1 watt when joule is work so that means 1 joule of work is done in 1 second this is time so power is said to be 1 watt when 1 joule of work is done in 1 second see the the si unit of power is watt but still we have many more units the bigger units can be kilowatt can be megawatt, can be gigawatt and it is it has an older unit also that is the horsepower. How may, uh, 1 kilowatt is equal to 10 raised to power 3 watts that means the 1000 watts. Mega specifies 6 so it is equal to 10 raised to power 6 watts. Giga means 9 so it signifies 1 giga uh, watt is equal to 10 raised to power 9 watts. And horsepower, 1 horsepower is equal to 746 watts. So, if somebody asks you about the commercial unit of the power, SI unit is watt, but commercial unit is horsepower. Commercial unit is horsepower. We already discussed like uh, we uh, bring many appellances uh, and every appellance is going to have a different rating, different power rating actually what we talk about. Suppose you bring a bulb and it is being written that it is of 60 watt and 220 volt, then what does it signify? We discussed in the previous lecture also. This watt signifies that it is going to consume this much energy in one second. So if somebody asks you that what does 60 watt means, it means it is going to consume 60 joules of energy in one second. And 220 volt means the minimum voltage required to operate it should be minimum 220. It won't work if the voltage is below 220. So that means minimum voltage required is 220. And this is what is called as power rating. This is what is called as power rating. We have different formulas as we have discussed power is equal to work upon time. We have many more formulas using the Ohm's law. So it comes out to be P is equal to V into I. It comes out P is equal to V square upon R and also P is equal to I square R. These three formulas are actually derived by using a Ohm's law. Just putting uh, the like uh, I will solve one for you. Like we have uh, V is equal to W upon Q. I can write W is equal to V into Q. So I have just put it here. So after putting what do I get? I get V into Q upon T and we know that Q upon T is something I. So that means it comes out to be P is equal to V into I. Now in the same way if you want to have uh, V square upon R, you can just put the value for I. So we know that I is equal to V upon R. So if you put that, you will get this formula P is equal to V square upon R. Likewise if in this case you put the formula for V which comes out to be I R. So if I will put that, let us put the value for V as I R. This is I again, so it comes out to be the third formula that is the I square R. So these are the three formulas which you uh, use actually in order to calculate power and whenever you are calculating power in these terms, you need to know that you have to calculate the power in the SI unit that is the watt which I have already explained you. So this is what is the power. And you know that uh, we have already discussed this also that uh, every electric appliance like if you need to measure the electric energy consumed by it, then the commercial unit in order to measure the electric energy is kilowatt r and what is the formula 
it is E is equal to N P T, where N is the number of same kind of appellants. This you did in seventh also, and this is the power which you need to take in kilowatt. But if it is in watt, then after solving this, convert it in kilowatt, and time is taken in hour. Let us take some numericals based on it, and you know that there is a relation also uh, in between kilowatt hour and joule. One kilowatt hour is equal to three point six into ten raised to power six joule. So this is a formula by which you can actually interconvert kilowatt hour into joule or joule into kilowatt hour and moreover like you have uh, you must have seen your electricity bill at home which you get every month then in though in that bill what you have actually you have that total number of units consumed is this much then units what does unit signify units means that much kilowatt hour if 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 your bill has that you are you have consumed 36 units so that means you have consumed 36 kilowatt hour so that means unit and kilowatt hour both means the same thing and you can actually relate kilowatt hour with joule also so let us take few numericals based on it so just uh, try to remember the units because you need to remember the units as well as the formula then only you are able to uh, solve the numericals so just look at the board for the numerical problems